Hey everybody, welcome to No Jumper News. It's Adam22 featuring your co-host AD. Let's get right into these stories. So the first story of the day, Soldier Boy is pissed at Kanye West. Following the surprise release of Donda on Sunday, Kanye West claimed the album was released without his permission. Well, Soldier Boy took to Twitter to call out Ye for leaving his verse off the album. Things initially popped off when a fan asked Soldier Boy how he felt about the album. IDK, how'd it feel? Kanye sent me that song, Remote Control, and I didn't hear my verse on it. Hmm, fuck that dude. Minutes later, Soldier Boy followed up with receipts to show proof, tweeting out screenshots of the exchange text messages between him and Ye from July. This dude, Kanye, SMH, don't hit my phone no more. Then, Soldier Boy retweeted Kanye's message about Universal releasing his album without his permission, suggesting that Kanye was capping and added several laughing emojis. The following morning, Soldier had a few more things to say and shared his remote control verse, tweeting, Fuck Kanye, hashtag donned it. He also tapped Kim Kardashian, asking her to call him, insisting that Kanye needs help, seriously. Don't call phone no more, weird ass eh. That's why Kim left yo bipolar ass at Kanye West, he wrote before getting off a series of even more angry tweets. That dude Kanye is so pussy. Lame ass dude thought he could be the president. Sit your goofy ass down somewhere. That's why Hove don't fuck you, weirdo. Go have another rant, pussy ass eh. You need help, Kanye. You ain't have to call me in the first place. Who the fuck you think you is, eh? On oh God, you a bitch. Kanye West, and if you got a problem with what I'm saying, I'll knock you out. He continued, how you get so lame, Kanye West? He did the same shit on Robocop when Amber Rose was in the studio years ago. I hate working with this dude. He needs help, seriously. If you didn't like the verse, you should have just said that. Don't text me acting like you fuck with it, then secretly take it off. What kind of shit is that? I was working with my album too. I don't got time for this shit. Chris Brown was also seemingly pretty angry with Kanye. On Sunday, he blasted Ye on his Instagram story over his collaborative Donda track, Never Again. In a since deleted post, Breezy wrote, Kanye, a whole ho. After deleting the message though, he posted again, this time writing, nah, he tweaking. You know, anyone who really pays attention to these Kanye albums and how they come about knows that there's always tons and tons of verses laid that just never come out and it seems like most people at this point if you're going to be on a Kanye project you probably already know that and you're just used to the idea that you're going to put a bunch of hard work and effort into something and it might never come out and it's the same thing if you go and uh, do music with Dr. Dre it might just never come out I mean there's been people working with Dr. Dre for 10 years and we ain't heard nothing that we know that they recorded so I mean this is not a new problem what is unique is that Soldier Boy is willing to actually go out there and talk about it where everybody else just ignores it. So I do kind of credit Soldier Boy for that part of all this. At the same time, it's kind of hard to look at this and not just think that it's a little immature because Soldier Boy probably could have maintained his relationship with Kanye, got writing credit on the song or something, and still just, you know, had kept the door open for being able to work with him in the future. Like, I don't think this is personal at all. I don't think it's ever personal with Kanye. I feel like he's just listening to his heart. So Soldier Boy maybe should just chill out, but really at the end of the day, who gives a fuck? It's all fun and games anyway. Speaking on a Soldier event with Kanye, I don't know, man. You know, I'd be pissed off too if I was Soldier, if I was Chris Brown, you know, if I was any artist that uh had to fly out, take out time out of their schedule to, you know, be on a, one of the biggest, most controversial albums of the year, man, and for it to drop abruptly and not hear my shit up on there, that'll piss me off to keep it G. I don't feel, I don't feel that they wrong for this, you know what I mean? And hopefully he do the right thing by putting, you know, all these extra songs and all these things on a deluxe album and shit if he's gonna drop a deluxe, but yeah, it's too much back and forth right now. Kanye saying Universal dropped the album, Universal saying that they didn't do that, you know what I'm saying? They're saying that, uh, the baby's manager didn't clear the verse, and the baby's manager saying that that's cap. I don't know what the fuck is going on with Kanye and their team, you know what I'm saying? But I'm fucking with the album. Next story. Florida rapper Spot Em Got Em's legal troubles continue to mount. Dallas police now want to question a 19-year-old beatbox rapper after connecting him to a 2020 homicide. Dallas cops believe Spot Em Got Em bragged about the killing of Reginald Agnew Jr. on a song again. Reginald Agnew was reportedly in Dallas last year to an attendant event at Club Tropics when he was shot and killed. That is very bold. You know, that is like stepping like, hey, we did this, and the police don't even know who did it, and we're going to get away with murdering this young man, explained the detective to Fox News 4 in Dallas. According to the reports, police currently have no substantial leads in the murder case still. They believe the people in the Gin video snippet, including Spot Em Got Em, may have the answers they're needing. In the song, Spot Em Got Em raps, fuck the law and all you bitches, they don't even know who did it. As previously reported, 
U.S. Marshals arrest his bottom got him for aggravated assault with a firearm, firearm possession by a convicted felon in July. He was found at a Miami hotel lying in the bed with an AK-47 next to him when he was arrested. He was later released after posting an $18,000 500 bond. The warrant stemmed from a case in June where he allegedly was in a car with several friends when they broke the gate at a parking garage in Miami. Harden reportedly pulled out a semi-automatic weapon at a person who tried to stop the vehicle. And when it comes to this Bada Gotham case, um, I don't know. I don't think the man is dumb enough to sit there and talk about murdering somebody if he actually murdered somebody. Um, I think the police want to get this guy bad and they're going to try to do anything to connect the dots with him. Um, yeah, man, prayers go out to the fallen and his family. Yeah, this whole spot and got him situation, man, I don't really know. I mean, it seems like total bullshit to me. Like, when you think about it, uh, all he said was, like, something, something happened to somebody and they don't even know who did it. Like, what is that? That's not anything. That's not going to hold up in court. It's not going to, you know, do anything ever. But now you have the news and the news is sitting around putting it on TV like it's official. Like, this is, like, a real thing that actually happened when it sounds to me... Like, they don't have any evidence, and they're just trying to find some, and they're using the fact that this kid is a famous rapper to try to find some, and that seems pretty sinister, to be totally honest with you. Like, how is anyone buying into this? I don't get it. Can someone explain? You too. Good looking for checking us out today, man. Let us know if y'all feeling this format. We might have to switch it up sometime. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be back with more No Jumping News.